This video is intended to give you an overview of how to use the System Migration Assistant. This tool will allow you to transfer all the information, that is to say, your web favorites, desktop settings, application settings, and your important work-related documents from your lowly, substandard, and disgusting gateway computer to your new, fast, efficient, and beautiful Lenovo computer. In essence, if you do this correctly, you will not have to spend an eternity rebuilding your new computer from the ground up. First, you will go to the Start menu, go to All Programs, then to Think Vantage, and then to System Migration Assistant. After you select System Migration Assistant, a splash screen will appear prompting you to quit all other programs. Do this and do it fast. Then click on Next. When you see this screen, select Source. Upon clicking on Source, surprise! Two other radio buttons will appear. Then click on the radio button next to the words Migration File. Now you will see a series of checkboxes that ask you which items you would like to capture. Check all except Network. If you value your sanity, don't click in that box. Then you will click on Next to advance to the next screen. This screen shows the usernames of all the people who have logged on to your computer. Your own username will already be checked and grayed out. Do not check any of the other boxes. Click on Next to continue. In this screen, make sure everything except shell and window metrics are checked. I'm very certain I don't know why you should do this. I don't see any shells or window metrics, but people smarter than I am have reassured me that checking these boxes will create headaches of biblical proportions. If there are other items on this list that you would like to change on your new computer, you may deselect them. If you are not sure what to do, check all items except shell and window metrics. I don't know what they are, but I do know that they are trouble. Click on Next. Without going into excruciating detail, it is probably best to check all items here. This will prevent the programs you are accustomed to using from behaving in surprising and unexpected ways. Click on Next. This next screen lists the printers you are currently connected to. Check the boxes next to the ones for which you have a special feeling. Then click on Next. Right about now, the System Migration Assistant will do a little processing. You will see a bouncing red ball to let you know that the software is doing things that none of us really understands. This is actually very important. If the amount of information you wish to move to your new computer is greater than 4 gigabytes, which is the same as 4,000 megabytes, you will receive this warning. Long story short, the migration file, the thing that you are creating now, the thing that will make your new computer as familiar to you as your old one, is too big to fit on a data DVD. There are solutions to this problem, most of which cost money. So, get all of your personal music, pictures, and videos off your gateway before using the System Migration Assistant, and your day won't be ruined by this message. When the step number six screen appears, simply click on Next. A small dialog now appears prompting you to click on OK. Go right ahead. And by the way, ignore the box that allows you to password protect the file. Trust me, this is a headache you can live without. The next dialog that appears directs you to save the migration file to a location of your choice. Use your district username as the file name and select the desktop as the location. Once again, you will see a series of screens indicating that the tool is doing something that none of us understands. Sit back and relax. Better yet, get a cup of coffee or watch a video. This could take a while. If you've done everything right and your computer hasn't done anything unspeakable without your express consent, 
you will see this message that for once in your life you've done something right. Click on Finish. When you go back to your desktop, you will see two files, one with a .sma file extension and one with a .sma.drive-c file extension. Okay, here's the trick. You need to get these two files onto your new computer. You can do this in a variety of ways. If the files are less than 4 gigs, you can burn it to a data DVD and then copy it to Lenovo. If they're more than 4 gigs, you could copy them to a large thumb drive and then copy it to the Lenovo. If they're really big, you may have to use an external hard drive. That will cost you a few dollars. So, get your personal stuff off the gateway and you can use the data DVD that we will give you at no charge. Stay tuned for our next video that will show you in 25 words or less how to get all this stuff onto your new computer.